Uh, hello, this is a note for our online electronic chart navigation course, and uh, we are going to use we use a couple programs for that, and one of them is OpenCPN. Uh, and I want to just illustrate downloading that and then downloading the training chart region that we use. And so here's the website, opencpn.org, and you go there. This is a PC version. There's a PC and a Mac, and they're, they're essentially the same uh, for the process. Then you go to Downloads, and then it's a current version. And then Download that and then say download again and then it starts to download here and now we can stop that let me just cancel that because I already have it over here uh, over here uh, download uh, I already have it downloaded here so that's the installer right there now I'm clicking the installer and uh, we're look at and double check this is 5.2.4 the version um, and I'm on a, I'm actually on a Mac I'm running this on a virtual machine on a Mac I'm just saying yes to everything nothing special here yes 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 install so we're going to do at this point we're just going to do two things we're going to download the ch we're going to download this program and open it and then we're going to install well two things we want to install the high resolution base maps that are used all the time in the background and then we also want to install our training pack of charts and that training pack includes both uh, ENC and RNC vector and raster charts run open CPN okay finish and once that's done, you can go up here and delete that install file. That's just 50 megabytes sitting on your shelf doing nothing. So just delete the installer. Okay, distributed with the hopes. That's good. And so here's the program. And um, now it's taking, you see that's spinning around a bit because I'm on a, on a virtual machine. It's not too really efficient, but I think this would work. Okay, but you see this uh, really crude uh, background here on these charts. Um, I'm rolling the mouse. See, that all works really well. And But you see how crude this is here. Okay, so now we want to get the better base map in here. So we go up to the wrench, the options. Then we go to charts, chart downloader and then catalog add a catalog we want uh, NOAA NOAA US NOAA it's these I guess no wait a minute we want these base maps so there's that one and where is it gonna put them it's gonna put them that's okay it's gonna put them in Mac David documents charts that okay that's good let's put that there select a the folder oh wait a minute cancel Okay, that is the folder. Uh, okay. I, I, I'm, I'm just say okay there. So that's where, and then we're going to have to go move some other charts there too. Okay, so that's that. Now we probably want to update that. I click update. That's update. That's done. Now we want to, um, let's see, download charts. And really, on modern computers here, we we only need a high resolution one. It's 38 megabytes. I don't think that takes too long. Let's just download that right now. And the other thing that uh, I realize, since these are going into documents, my documents slash charts, then what we're going to want to do is move our training charts into that folder too. There is a there is a really a great virtue of having all your charts in the same place. Otherwise, it gets scattered all over the computer. Okay, so this is that guy here. Uh, 38.2. I wonder if that's done. Okay, that looks done. Now I'll just say, oh, cancel, cancel. Okay, now I'm going to go back up here to here and now click charts. And you see it didn't automatically go and point to them so let's go and point to them see if they went to the right place add directory oh my documents charts and this guy so that's right that's that's the that's the charts right there select a folder say apply and say okay now you see we have a decent looking background here okay so that part's done now 
let's go back and download our charts for the course and then you'll see on the first lesson of the assignment for the course here's where you download the training charts in the this is an assignment you've got a these are terms you have to learn for the first course and so forth. And now here is a download the training charts. And then that's going to come down to here doing the same thing. That's another 37. We can quit that one too, cancel, because we've already got, I already downloaded those. And they're sitting over here. And they come down zipped like that. So then you right click it. I'm on a PC. I mean, it's going to be pretty much the same on the Mac. A Mac has a lot in a sense a little bit well, I'm on a virtual machine so this thing forever so anyway what happens is you right click this and then you say extract all and then it'll extract to this folder here and then when you open that up you'll see this file here which means I made it on a Mac and we don't care about that and these are the charts right here that we want and if you open that you'll see that's all the charts this is something you don't need. I mean, you could delete that thing. That's, again, re somehow related to the Macintosh production of these things. But anyway, there's the charts. These, these are all up here, raster charts. That's our training chart. This is our training chart, and this is the official chart of our, uh, of our training chart. We do look at that. And then here's some uh, ENC charts, electronic navigational charts. So that's the charts we want. But right now, we really want to put those in the same place as the other charts. So let's do this. I'm not, let me just see if I can do this. Control, I'm going to do Control N to see if I get another window. Yeah, I got another window here. And then I'm going to go, uh, uh, let's see, what's this over here? Down, oh, this has got documents over here. There's documents and there's charts right here. So this is the folder we want. Whoops. Uh, charts. Okay, so let me see if I can get this guy over here. Oh, again, I'm all right. So I'm just going to move this folder here over to here. So there we've got this is the high. This is, again, I open that up. That's the high resolution base map charts. And these are all of our uh, training charts. And they're all in this folder. This computer, do user, documents, charts, etc. OK, good. So now let's go back here to uh, get, the, get this guy back in view. I think we're done with that. So we'll go up here and go to um, add a directory. Now uh, let's just say we're going to add that one, you see. So select a folder. So now we've got, we're look, now again, you can take these in and out of here. Just delete it, put it back in. You know, if you have too many charts loaded and they seem to be in your way, just go in and remove them. That's not going to delete them from your chart. Just remove them out of here. But now we've got these two is what we want. And say, OK, I can apply it or say, OK. Now, um, so then the default is over here. This, if I look over here on this button on the right, if I look over here, click that. Oh, they're still loading. Okay, hang on just a minute. If I look over here, click this. That's not working. Well, what's going on? Okay. Enable chart quilting. Normally, we shut this off. If you want to look at only one chart at a time, you shut this off. But for now, we're going to leave it on because we want to look at a lot of charts at once. And so we enable the chart quilting and show the chart outlines. Now, that's something you can turn on and off as needed, as needed. But for, for now, we got the outlines. The red, the red ones, the red outlines are the RNC the raster charts, and the green outlines are the uh, vector charts. And those outlines are on there, so we can close that. And then, let's see if I can, you should be able to just left click and pull this. And if you are on a dedicated, nice new computer, this works really fast and snappy. It's a well-functioning well, well, uh, well -functioning program. Now, this green is, a, and now we've got to come back. At this point now, you can just start playing around with it. We'll have other notes. But here's how you switch. these The purple ones, this is called the chart bar, and its default comes on. And if you click this, it's going to turn, it's going to turn to a, um, uh, you know, a raster chart. 
and then if you go blue, or you go to green, then it's going to show the same chart here. Later we can go in here. Let's see. Wait a minute. Where is it? Here? No. Display. Yeah. See, we can go here later on and split the screen in half and look at half a vector and half a raster. But anyway, for now, that's all I want to do. I want to just show you've got the charts loaded, you got the background, you got the program loaded, the background loaded, and the charts loaded. And uh, that's all, that, that's the goal of that uh, video, period.